What's up guys, I'm James, this is Persia. Alright, there's a lot of war exhaustion. Where is this tab? 14 and a half war exhaustion, but uh, my truce with Gujarat ended, so I'm going to try to take this province. 69 development. They have no allies, looks like they have two troops, they might not even get those troops over here. So, at the very least, I'm going to loot this province. Go ahead and do this, because it's 75% cost. Should be quick-ish, and then um, let's go ahead and do... We will uh, strongly encourage looting for that extra 40% looting amount, because I want to destroy this province. Try to take down that urban development a little bit. Actually, you know what? I'll just encourage looting. Actually, I can check. I'll check in a month how much aggressive expansion I'll get. If it's too high, then I'll try to loot this province as much as possible. Okay, yeah, that's... That's a little bit too much for now, so we'll go ahead and strongly encourage looting. It'll hurt the uh, siege ability, but... I want to burn it down. I want to burn it to the ground, and then... 2400 ducats, let's go ahead and build... Let's build some stuff. There's uh, 572,000 rural pops in this province, but 12,000 urban pops. So there should be a lot of food in this province. I think most of these are most of these provinces are like that. 215,000, 232,000. Yeah, so these the urban pop in these provinces should build up pretty quickly. Let's go ahead and do. I'm going to do everything pretty much in these provinces, but uh, I'm wondering what I should build first. Which takes the lowest lowest amount of time? 12 months? 12 months? 24 months? 12 months? I'll build the uh, merchant guild chains for now just because they're the quickest. I'll even build in this province a little bit. Let's see, are there roads? Roads? No. Nope. Let's see about roads. Are they cheap? 400 ducats? I'll throw a road in that province. Throw a road over there? Sure. Roads over here. Okay, so I do have a road going down to Bastak and a road going over to Baghdad, and there is roads going over here. So actually, road coverage is not that bad. Level 2 roads? Uh, not so much. Let's see. There's nothing connecting Baghdad and Basra, though. All right, they go through here. Let's see about building a road. Let's see about building a road there. I think it's uh, there. It is. Let's go ahead and split this. Leave the cannons. These guys can just start. Not. Take off some troops, just move them over here. Three hundred fifty-six ducats from the state. I guess I could use uh, actually monarch power to build roads. Can't use. Can I use mill power? What do you use mill power?
Estate maximum would be... Hundred and seventy eight ducats, eighty two dip. Okay, mill power would be using manpower. And it would cost seven thousand and reduce it by 40%, so they would take all of my manpower. Um, let's do it a couple times. 2,000 manpower. Doesn't really save that much money. That's fine. Can I take manpower? Not yet. It's a level four. I'll just move the uh, troops over here then. Our development is one thousand one hundred eighty-nine. So I think when we get that to twelve hundred, we should get should increase to significant. I think with significant you get it's either significant or hegemonic. You get a union of cultures, so that would help with unrest. Hopefully it's the, um, at 1,200. All right, we've killed, was that 80,000? Only 80,000 people. This has to uh, update. They deleted their troops. I'm going to build the uh, next level company depot. As well, that'll boost uh, trade power. We have 0% trade power because we are being embargoed by Matarai. That's uh, negative 123% from their embargo. And we're being embargoed by Bamani as well. And they've actually allied with each other again. So I have to build up these cities in order to uh, hopefully even out the trade power. So when they do embargo me, they don't. They don't. Uh, the embargo doesn't hurt as much. It does drop my ducats. I'm still making 49 from trade, so almost 50. I only had 4% trade power in Madurai anyway. So their embargo really doesn't do much, but Mani's embargo is what hurts. It's like uh, 14 ducats that don't go through. Alright, it dropped down to 55. That's still too much. Negative 52 with Delhi, negative 52 with Kandesh, Bamani, Aniza, Malwa, negative 58, Miwa, negative 58. I will grab this province eventually. 
It'll be mine. Just not right now, apparently. I think if I do take it, I'll probably come over here and try to finish off these guys that are potentially in the coalition, because I don't want... I don't want a coalition ranging from over here to over here, so I'm not going to risk taking that province. I can come over here and actually take out most of these... some of these countries with the Unifying Persia CB, which actually is 10% uh, aggressive expansion for their provinces. You can do that with uh, Astarabad, Mazandaran, and uh, Janu... Jani Kurban. I can take their provinces, all for a 10% 10% war score, or 10% aggressive expansion. Can't do that with uh, Georgia or Shervan, even though they do own provinces in the uh, regions that we got claims on, which is weird. I take this province if I could, because it's only 17 development, but I can't can't get there without taking that. So I'll just take uh, Duckets. Duckets, War Ups. And then they can give up all claims, sure. That's fine. At the very least, I do weaken their trade power by destroying that city. Okay, perfect. I allied with Trebizond. So, Trebizond is going to offer us knowledge sharing for only 9 ducats a month. The low, low price of nine ducats. I accept. So we're now getting Renaissance. Casual literacy has spawned, so that's unfortunate. But we'll get Renaissance in 26 years. Knowledge sharing. I thought knowledge sharing was only in the capital. But these four provinces are getting it. It's weird. It's actually spreading over here naturally. But uh, we're gonna get knowledge sharing eventually. Or uh, we're gonna get Renaissance eventually. We also captured a light ship. Which is good because our force limit should be about 18. Bring these guys back over. Yeah, I really have to get this uh, war exhaustion down a little bit. Probably deal with these rebels. Got those marketplaces. The uh, canals built. So that should help with uh, food generation. Smooth things out a little bit. We'll deal with these rebels. The religion map mode. We can get uh, Chen trade power in Xinjiang, which is all the way over here. There's a decent amount of ducats in that province, but that has to go through the Indus and then through Kutch. So 10% trade power there is probably not going to do much. 
I might actually grab that traitor. Five ducats? Yeah, I'll take them. Two, uh... Two dip points and more trade income. I also want to build an Aiden. Let's go ahead and build a commune hall there. Now, you guys want to leave, you can go. Heretics leave Persia, gain four prestige. This province converted, so that was a big problem because of the uh, time it takes to get over there. So that's perfect that that converted. The Shahan Shah's dream. Don't need legitimacy. So we'll move uh, closer to fanaticism. All right, I have four missionaries. I can't convert with the missionaries, so I'm going to go ahead and convert heretics with the missionaries. I'm going to convert non-Muslim heretics because I can evict Muslims. I'll probably just evict Muslims. I don't think it's worth it for the uh, war exhaustion to evict heretics. Let's go Basra. Let's do over here as well, because I can't, I'm not going to be able to do that with missionaries, and I don't want to evict them, so I'll do that. And then I'll leave a missionary in case I want to evict. Probably not for a little bit, though, because of this war exhaustion. Let's see, can I threaten war? for anything. I don't think so. Because I can't threaten for I can't threaten from uh, Karakanlu because that's their last province. They won't accept. We have a truce with Shervan. I'm not gonna threaten from these guys because I could just knock them out. Where's the unrest? Yeah, it's all at the uh, outer outer reaches, all the newly conquered provinces, and a couple a couple provinces over here. Why is there unrest over here? Oppressed minorities, centralization, war exhaustion mostly. If I can take out one of these guys quickly, I'll probably try to do that. Do any of them not have allies? Looks like they all have allies. Mizan Duran is uh, allied with Johnny Kerbin, so I'll probably try to get them. Burgers gain power in Calicut. That's good. Alright, there we go. So we have 1200 development. We are now significant, which gives stability increase interval plus 20%, a merchant advisor costs plus 60%, possible advisors plus one, leader without upkeep plus one, diplomatic relations plus three, liberty desire from subject development negative 0.2%, national focus cooldown negative 12 We can have uh, three alliances, and we have a cultural union of Persian culture. All Persian cultures are now accepted in our realm. So I think we had Iraqi and Persian accepted, and now we have Lurish, Kuzi, Tabari, Adari, Baluki, Colonial Persian, Hazara, Kurdish, Pashtun, Tajik, and Hazara. 
and Persian and Iraqi are all accepted. So that should cut down on those uh, pretty often cultural unrest events that just heap unrest on my country. I'm going to give gifts. Not that one. Here's the autonomy map mode. Most of these provinces over here have tribes, so probably not going to reduce that much. I'd say it's not horrible. These guys rose right there. Alright, I'm going to uh, deal with these rebels, play for a little bit, let my war exhaustion go down, and then uh, continue from there. So thank you for watching, and goodbye.